if we didn't have the video, you would have never believed what happened in Pasco County. A tiny chihuahua challenged a full-grown coyote that intruded into his backyard. Peter Bernard is on the night beat to show us who won. Peter, this doesn't seem like a very fair fight. <laughs> it wasn't, but the little, the little dog won. It's a fact of life here in Florida, especially here in the Bay Area. Coyotes are everywhere, but that doesn't mean they're always welcome. Watch how this little dog shows them who's boss. And a coyote tried to cut him off, and that's where they had their little squabble here. Thursday evening, as the sun set, Paco noticed an unwanted visitor. But instead of running away, Paco ran towards the potentially deadly carnivore, an adult coyote. From there, it's on. Paco's owner, TJ Jones, caught it all on a video security system. And I noticed Paco wasn't in the room. As I walk out the room, I come around the shed here, and he's got his hair all up. He's all upset. And I come around the corner, and I see a big old coyote. Checking his recordings, he sees Paco taking on the coyote. He actually literally was face to face with that coyote five times his size, stood his ground, hit under the shed till I came out. Behind TJ's house, an abandoned railroad line with plenty of brush makes a perfect place for a coyote to hide. It's likely the wild animal visited for dinner or dessert. That coyote could have, with one bite, killed him. That been a, you know, he's 18, he doesn't have a tooth in his head. He's a little sweetheart. He was my dad's dog. I'd lose it if I lost him, but mm -hmm. he did his job good. Paco learned his bravery from a pit bull he used to live with. He's always had the big mouth and had the bronze behind him. In this round, it's Paco 1, Coyote 0. They're out there, and people have a lot of small dogs, and, you know, I don't want He got lucky. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see something bad happen to somebody else's dog. You go, Paco. TJ recently received that video recording system from a friend who had an auto body shop that caught fire, and he put it up to test it out. And he got the test all right. Josh? Not a tooth in his head either. Peter Bernard on the night beat for us. Thank you, sir. <laughs>